Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's Web Whiz video number 13, where once again I take you on a very quick trip through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now, those of you who are following this WebWiz series, which is probably just my mum and my girlfriend, will know that Enrich was the subject of my very, very first WebWiz video. And I make no apologies for returning to it in WebWiz video number 13, because they've got a beautiful little Christmas offering that I wanted to share. So let's have a look at it. We're gonna Google Enrich, and after it, will we help if I clicked on it? After it, I'm gonna type in Advent Calendar. And there it is at the top of the listings. Give that a little click. Now, what the lovely people at Emrich have done is they've put together, and they do this every year, an advent calendar for secondary and for primary school uh, children. So I'm going to click on the secondary one. And on the face of it, it looks like your standard advent calendar 24 things to click but behind each door is not a chocolate oh no no it's something far better than that it is a classic little maths problem so what i've done is i've picked out four of them um so if first if i look on the 4th of december what little classic is hiding behind this door well, it's one of these. It's the brilliant 2 plus 2 equals 4 alphanumeric puzzle. Each of the letters stands for a different number. Can your students figure out the solution to that one and how many different solutions are there? Nice little one to get them going there. Then it jogs around to the 6th of December. What's behind this door? Now, this is one of my favourite Enrich puzzles and it's absolutely, well, it's very, very challenging. It's stage 3. Um, key stage three but it's a three star and dear me it's worth every one of those stars um i won't go into it too much but it's about sharing counters out and after a, a few little rounds of sharing they all end up with the same counters these uh, three people and how many did they start with some nasty little fractions and ratios flying around there to keep your students busy uh, behind door number seven we have an absolutely brilliant problem here about hidden squares. Again, I'll leave you to, to fully digest this, but basically each of those crosses represents the corner or the vertex of a square, and each of the red crosses represents the corner or vertex of two squares. And the students have to decide, well, which cross rep uh, belongs to which square and join them up. There's a bit of geometrical thinking, a bit of logical thinking, a bit of deduction. It's all going on on that problem, and it's a really, really nice one. And finally, we break up from school on the 22nd of December. I cannot believe it's so late, but what a way to end the term with this little classic. Um, it's not just your standard numbers game countdown. Oh, no, no, it's power countdown. So you've got the students have got to make a target number, but the twist is this time, the only thing they can use are powers. So this is a great one for your GCSE students, especially those who've perhaps got an exam coming up in January and would like a bit of practice. So that is the Enrich Advent Calendar. As I say, there is also one for primary school students, which even if you're a secondary school teacher and perhaps you've got a low ability year seven or year eight group or even an SEN group, that might be a nice one to use. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna use this as maybe starters or even almost like as a daily problem maybe with building up to a prize and the students submit solutions. Um, whichever way you use it, please give it a go because as I say, I cannot speak highly enough about Enrich. They've, um, they've provided me with loads of great problems over the years and it's de and again it frustrates me when um teachers haven't either heard of it or haven't used it for a while so it's definitely worth dipping into it's an absolute brilliant website so that is my little festive web video i will be back with a fresh one next week bye for now